So the Sony Center is one of uh, Helmut Jahn's masterpieces, I guess you could say. It's his, uh, it's one of his most famous buildings. It's a nine building complex in Berlin with a sort of magnificent circular uh, roof, oval shaped, oval shaped roof. And um, the, the project was to put a, an event, event and event space in that, in that, uh, in that area. It's really strange to see something that was so directly affected by World War II and it still has the scars. It's kind of like a microcosm of Europe as, as a whole, just because you had the you know, communist capitalist conflict happening and all of the damage from World War II, which is still visible. Um, but there's also an incredible like, rebuilding effort, an incredible amount of like, city pride, it seems like, in Berlin. I really liked how our tour guide said that in a lot of the real recent government buildings there's a lot of glass in them to reflect transparency because of all their history. I also thought it was really cool where when we, when we went up into the Reichstag you could look down into the actual parliament. So I thought that transparency was cool. Then uh, Monday we got into the Murphy Jan office. I was actually lucky enough to sit right next to Helmut Jan in his cubicle, but he was nice. and. Uh, it went pretty well. The rest, it was really nice getting to work in the, the office setting and really experiencing what it's like to be in an architecture studio. And My event, pretty simply, is an Olympic sort of festival. The idea that like Berlin won the Olympics in some future date and they wanted to hold some events here. Uh, my event is more of a multi-purpose um, amphitheater space uh, for concerts, musical acts, um, plays potentially. So my event was a dance festival. I created a stage that went over the pond, but I've never sat nine to five, um, literally next to the head architect. And so I got to see him for those few days. What does it mean to be an architect in that position? I thought that was an amazing uh, opportunity actually. So I chose to do a fashion show for my design. The seating that I had, I originally just had stadium seating from the ground up like 20, 30 feet. And talking to Leaf, actually, I changed it from being set back, the seating, to bringing it forward to the circles. It was, it was a little bit like memory, you know, memory lane having been an architectural student at one point and remembering the evolution of developing your skill of drawing and the ability to articulate and these are you know these these people are fresh into the program you can see that they have great capacity but to learn the discipline of how to think and how to draw and how to communicate and to package that so that you can be compelling with your design takes time how late did you work last night we were here till about 11 just 11 uh, I only worked till eight. Eight. I didn't sleep. Yeah, we get sleep in architecture. The final jury was amazing because it was just uh, a ridiculous lineup, I guess, between between uh, uh, Werner Sobeck and and Helmut Jan and uh, Leif Leif Selkrag. Just you know, three giants in their in the industry and they're. They're sitting there critiquing our work after three days, and um, it, was, it was very impressive. It was nice to hear. It was interesting because at times it, the conversation broke down from project-oriented to more just sort of industry in general, and that was really, that was probably the most, almost the most helpful. Uh, uh, I, I think they all got a lot better, and they even got much better after, after the break today. You know, I think what always helps is uh, that they see what the other people did, you know, and uh, you know, the grass fertilization on, on that level is just important. It's important as what tourists, as professionals, you know, uh, tell them, you know, had a lot of fun, and, and I hope they learn something and uh, uh, wish them all the best. It added to my, you know, bank of experiences in not just in an architecture experience, in an engineering experience, in a traveling experience, in a networking experience. I feel like it was it was great to get them know get to know the other students a little better. We got to know each other pretty well, but 
You just got to see another side of someone when they're off and we're all kind of lost. It gave me an opportunity to kind of see architecture and practice there and also architecture just on the street and really kind of a flavor for the city and how it evolved and it's seen so much throughout its history and it's just kind of this, this book and you can just read it. It's an architecture book and there's so much going on. And um, I really enjoy the design experience and I really enjoy the city.